Thanks for watching Cooking with Hua. Today I'll be making keto coconut key lime pie. We're gonna make our coconut condensed milk and I'm using a coconut milk that has two grams of carbs. You'll need to check your label when you purchase it and we're also gonna need sugar and I'm using erythritol. And I made my coconut condensed milk the night before. You'll want to turn on your heat to about a medium, add in your coconut milk and then you will need to add sugar. It's only two ingredients. I'm using half a cup of the erythritol sugar. But if you use Swerve, Swerve is a little bit sweeter, so you might want to cut it down to one third. Then you'll want to make sure that you whisk it to dissolve the granulated sugar. Once your sugar dissolves, you do want to turn down the heat to a simmer and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes, not touching it so you don't crystallize it. It will thicken up. Then. All I did was left it overnight in my fridge and it became a thick consistency. Once you decide to use your condensed coconut milk, just take it out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature. Now I found some keen lines at my local grocery store, but if you're unable to find it, because I know sometimes it can be difficult, you can just use some regular lines. You will need half a cup of your keen lime juice, and this was a labor of love, but definitely worth it. Work on the crust. You will need five tablespoons of butter, and then almond flour, erythritol, and coconut flour, and some salt. Just mix all your dry ingredients until they're all incorporated and then set it to the side. Add in your melted butter into your dry ingredients. Now I use unsalted, that's why I added salt to my dry ingredients. If you only have salted butter, then don't add in the salt. Then you'll want to mix it until it comes together like wet sand. And you should be able to pick it up and pinch it and it should stay together. That's when you know you are done. Using a spoon to press down the crust mixture just to make sure that it's well patted down to the bottom. And then I'm going to also use a measuring cup just to press it down to make sure that it's all in place. I'm using mini ceramic pie dish, but if you don't have it, you can just use a regular 12 muffin tin and instead of 8, you can actually make 12. In a preheated oven at 350 degrees, you will want to bake these at about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. Get started on the filling. You will need to separate your egg yolks from your egg whites, and you will need a total of four egg yolks. Make sure your eggs come to room temperature before you whisk it. Now don't waste the egg whites. You can actually make it for breakfast or else I'll show you another video on keto macaroon. Add in your four egg yolks to your KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, you can use a regular hand whisk. Now you will want to whisk these egg yolks until they come to a very yellow pale color. And by doing that, you're going to add it more volume to your key lime custard. This can take up to about six to eight minutes, just be patient. This recipe is a little bit labor intensive just because you have to squeeze the key lime and you also need to make your coconut condensed milk. So I did that the day before. And then the next following day, I made the custard filling. I am gonna use another half cup of confectionate sugar erythritol into the egg mixture. If you use the Swerve brand, you will need to cut down on the sugar because I find that the Swerve brand is just a little bit sweeter than other erythritol sugars. Then you want to turn on your mixer and mix the confectionate sugar and the eggs and scrape down the size of the bowl to make sure that the sugar has dissolved. And the reason why I'm using confectionate sugar is just because it doesn't give it that grainy texture. Now I brought out my condensed coconut milk to a room temperature and because I made it last night, the next following day when I decided to bake it, it was just a lot easier. Add in your coconut condensed milk to your egg and confectionate sugar 
And because I was a little bit short on the condensed milk, I'm going to add in about two ounces of heavy whipping cream. Then you want to mix everything together. And don't worry when you start mixing it, you're like, why is it so liquidy? It will come together at the end, trust me. Your pie crust should already be baked and be ready to be filled. Pour in your coconut king lime filling and I like to fill it all the way to the top. If you use a 12 muffin pan, make sure you ration it so then you can get 12 versus the 8. I'm using a measuring cup to pour in the filling just to make sure that it's easier, it's not so messy, but make sure that you mix the batter before you start filling. I bake the coconut key lime pies at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. This all depends upon your oven and also if you're going to use the ceramic tins or a muffin tin. So check your time at 12 minutes. Mine took 20. The top of your pie should be set but still jiggly in the middle. That's when you want to pull them out. Cool them for an hour before you put them in the fridge for 4 hours. I like to have whipped cream on top of my coconut key and lime pies. So as a pro tip, what you want to do is take your bowl and your mixer and put it in the freezer so it's super cold so then you can whip up the cream and it can be really nice and fluffy. Add in your heavy cream, put it on a high whisk and then add in 2 tablespoons of your confectionate sugar. Now once again, if you're going to use Swerve, use a little bit less. If you're enjoying my video, make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe and also click on the notification bell. Make sure your coconut key lime pie comes to a complete cool before you add the whipped cream on top. When I pulled out the key lime pies from the oven, I let it cool for an hour and then I put it in my refrigerator for about four hours and then that's when I piped the whipped cream on top. And it's really up to you. You don't have to make it all fancy or whatnot. You can just pipe it all in or not use a pipe. And I'm just going to decorate it with some sliced key limes. And that's it, you guys. This was super delicious, and I love it when my test recipe comes out perfect on the first try. Give it a try. Let me know what you would like to see next. Thanks so much for watching my keto coconut key lime pie. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy making it for you. Hey, guys. So I'm going to finally taste the... Keto Coconut Key Lime Pie. I'll let you know if it tastes good. Okay. Okay. So, crack in. This is how it looks on the inside. And this is a big bite, so forgive me. Okay? Forgive me. It is so good, you guys. Like, so, so good. Here. So good. I mean, if you don't like the coconut flavor, you can make, here. If you don't like the coconut flavor, you can make a different kind of keto condensed milk. Just Google it, you'll find it. But I like coconut flavor. I think it melts really well with the keen lime flavor. It is so good. Yum!